Ten months after my birth, Hitler came to power in January 1933 in Nazi Germany, and he had not hidden his disdain for the Jewish people, which he called the Jewish race. I was in a totally mixed kindergarten and immediately had to shift to an all-Jewish kindergarten because Jewish people were no longer allowed to interact with the Aryan race people. Then came Crystal Night, which I remember pretty vividly. November 9th, 1938. We lived right in the center of Berlin on the second floor, so I had a very good look at the uh, broken glass that was spread all over the street from a line of stores, Jewish owned. All the glass was shattered. So Kristallnacht, yeah? And so I remember Crystal Night and uh, not just the broken glass, but the synagogue, which was just a block away. Now, my, my parents were not religious Jews by any means, uh, but they did belong to that synagogue. So it, it was burned like synagogues all over Germany were. We almost didn't leave, my mother, father, and me, and we arrived in this country in February 1939. In the meantime, mom, my mother came down with tuberculosis and died within a year. Uh, I never saw her again. I was sent to live with the Piper family in uh, Princeton. But when my favorite grandmother, who by that time had come to New York, would come to visit me in Princeton, because she knew Frau Dukas, we yeah. would walk down to the Einstein house. And Albert Einstein, of course, loved children. And uh, he would uh, take me by the hand and walk me through his garden and then back to his study. And he had a violin up on the wall and he would take the violin down and play it for me. So Werner Salinger is a Holocaust survivor who lives in Arizona. We are showing Werner these beautiful pictures of these distant gravitationally lensing clusters where Einstein predicted 100 years ago that these would be able to magnify and curve the images of galaxies behind the cluster, a gravitational lensing, and Einstein got it exactly right in his prediction, but he doubted that it could ever be observed. Who would have known a hundred years later that we would observe it exactly as he predicted? I'm Roger Windhorst, a Regents and Foundation Professor at the Arizona State University School of Earth and Space Exploration. I'm a Professor of Astrophysics and Cosmology. I think it's fair to say that we were showing Werner what was in Einstein's head when, when he met Einstein in the 1940s in Princeton and Einstein never lived to see these images but he knew his theory was right he knew that. Werner was amazed to see these pictures and I could see in his eyes in his mind that this was what Einstein was looking for. Einstein never got to see it but Werner did and he saw the curvature of space in action exactly as Einstein had it in his mind. My fondest the best memory of my time with Albert Einstein is that he loved kids. And he, I don't know that he loved me, but he certainly was very affectionate towards me and always spent time with me when, when we had the chance to do that, which was every time my grandmother came from New York and we would walk down Mercer Street to the Einstein house. They loved, just loved being with kids. I was just a kid to him, you know. <laughs>